shirt. A new shirt. I'm so glad All right, we're gonna get a little dirty today, <laughs> guys. Welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. I've got an awesome video for you guys today. Um, I've got my little cousin here, Landon. Say hey, Landon. Hey. Um, yesterday was the last day of turkey season, and unfortunately, I had some things I had to take care of. But my dad actually took him turkey hunting and um, got to hear his first turkey gobble. Didn't you? Yeah. Um, he didn't get to pull the trigger on one, but it's all good. He got to hear some gobble and got to get out in the woods So it's an awesome experience for him today We have something that's really really neat is going to be doing something that I haven't done since I was probably close to his age um, We've got a creek that flows along the borderline of our property here And it's got some deep holes in it a couple big knotty heads like to live in there and swim around So we've got a couple ziplock baggies full of bread a couple small little spinning rods We're going to hook, uh, rig them up with some gold hooks light line we can go down here to this creek and see what we can pull out of these holes in a little bitty tiny creek, guys. So we're going to go fishing today. We don't really know what we're going to be catching and what's going on. We're just going to go to the creek and have a good day, guys. So let's get down here to the water. And shout out to um, all your mothers because today is Mother's Day. <laughs> That's right, guys. Today is Mother's Day. Uh, Dad is back at the house. We're fixing up a big fish fry. We're cleaning out some of the freezer space that we got from our last trip uh, to Destin, Florida last year. We've got to clean out some freezer space because we're going to Destin, Florida the first week of June. And I'm going to try my best to still post videos for you guys that week. It just depends on what the Wi-Fi is going to be like down there at that, at that spot. So um, my goal is I'm going to try to post them while I'm there. If I can't post them while I'm there, it'll be the week after, but I will be bringing you guys some content. All right, guys, so we are down here at the creek. We're getting ready to rig up and uh, get our gear and everything together. Right now, we've got everything kind of set up for uh, crappy fishing on the boat. So I've got to take off a couple of split shots just because they're a little too heavy for what we're going to be doing. Also, the hooks are just a little bit too big for what we're going to be doing today as well. So I'm going to switch over and use a small gold hook. This is going to be a size 6. So a size uh, size 6 is about as, about as big as you would want to go for doing something like this. And all we're going to be doing with our bread is we're going to just take a small piece of bread and just kind of uh, ball it up. And then we'll put it on the hook and just basically fish it kind of like trout fishing. You'll throw it upstream and you want to just gradually let it float back downstream. And it ain't going to take long for these fish to start biting. And you're actually probably going to be able to see them biting. Now whether we can see it on the camera or not is a different story. Alright dude, so you want to carry the bread? Yeah. So I'll give you that slice of bread. And can you carry two? Yeah. Can you carry them like this right here? Oh, Hold them like that. Good deal. So I'm going to get this, and then I'll get my rod, and then the camera equipment. All right? All right. All right, dude. All right, guys. We're getting ready to head down to this spot. Let's go see if we can catch some fish, guys. <laughs> tree down so this is how we're gonna do it just gonna grab a little pinch of bread like that and you're gonna ball it up make it into a ball like that right like so it's yep just like play-doh it's like making a ball with play-doh and you're just gonna run the hook straight yeah. through it make sure it's good and tight and you are all set and good to go now the way you're gonna fish it well, remember how to you remember how to cast? cast so you flip hold your line like that flip this and then you're just going to give it a little toss and then when you toss it let go there you go let's get it out see him biting it yeah. can you see your bread yeah. i need to get it out there a little bit deeper that's a good one Yeah, those are the little ones, though. They look like little bitty tadpoles. Those big ones are going to be right over in there. 
Look here. Look here, there's one on it, real. <laughs> Get that. Alright, stop reeling. Oh wow. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I know how to take them off. Do you? Yeah. So look right here. We gotta show the camera. Alright guys, so we caught the first one. I'll just give you an idea of what we're catching. That was actually really cool. And I have no idea what kind of fish this is. Hopefully you guys can tell me, uh, any of you fish scientists that are out there. Um, this isn't what I call a knotty head. A knotty head will get real big and he'll have these knots on top of his head. And if we catch a knotty head, I'll show you uh, what he is. But this is the first one. We want to catch one just so that way we could uh, get the monkey off our back and break the ice. So let's go ahead and take him off the hook. And we're gonna put him back. Good deal. There you go, that should be enough slack for you. There you go. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> you do? You got one? Or are you hung? I think you hung. So that right there, guys, is an ancient, <laughs> what I call a knotty head. Look at the size of that. And see, that's what I was talking about with you guys. You guys can tell if I can get up here where you can, if it'll focus. This dude's got some big old crazy knots on his head. It's just a cool looking fish, but that right there, I mean, you can tell that that's the size of my hand. And he's coming out of this really small little creek. Man, that's just that's just something cool to cool to see right there. So, man, that's awesome. That's what we want to come down here for. We can catch some more big ones like that. That was a good one. Okay. Alrighty. Look how pretty that fish is. Oh, that is really cool. I think he's going to be big and bigger. Look how pretty that is. That right there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. We just caught another one. Just look how pretty this fish is. I mean, it's crazy the, the different kind of species that you can get out of a small creek like this. Man, this right here would be a beautiful fish to take home to put into an aquarium. If I had a nice aquarium, this guy would be coming home with me. Showed you to bait it up? Yep. Heck yeah. yeah. Look at that. Feel those knots on his head? Yeah. Because he's called a knotty head. That's what we, I don't know what the technical term is. This is what all the rednecks over here call them. Oh, naughty head. So do we just bring them? Do what? What do we do with the fish? We just let him go so that way he can go back and get big. And we can go come back and then we head. can and then we can come back down later and catch him. That right there is another good naughty head, guys. Landon caught you caught that one all on your own there. Heck oh, yeah. Hey, get my bait and my bait well your bait's still on there. We just gotta untangle it. So let's go ahead and let that big guy go. Scroop. Yeah, you just need a, yeah, you need just a little bit, just a small little pinch. Oh. You take a bait? Oh. Look at that one. Oh. That's the biggest one of the day right there. Yep. Holy smokes. Hey, and I put a big one in, guys. We are in North 
Carolina. So look at that right there. There's another one. This beautiful fish. I don't know if you want to call them just a, I'd call them just a sun perch, to be honest with you, just because of that orange belly, but I'm sure there's a technical term for it. This is the biggest one that of the day for sure. I mean, you can see just how big this guy is. I can get up here and show you. That's awesome, man. That's that's good stuff. That right there is what you come down here for, guys. He took my bait again. He did. And the awesome thing, guys, is these creeks are full of fish like this, but you got to find those deep pockets. And they're not all going to be this big. They're, you know, these are going to be your, <laughs> these are the guys that's been in there for a while. So I'm going to put him back and let's see if we can keep catching some bigger ones. Maybe that's the one that took my bait. It might be. He grabbed onto mine. Another big old knotty head right there, guys. Look at that. Nope. Oh. He almost did. Yeah, right there where you guys can see him. It's a beautiful fish, just a unique fish too. And the cool thing about it with these, when you're taking a kid fishing, these little knots, they don't hurt. They're not spikes, kind of like a brim or some parts. They don't have spikes. Even their little dorsal fins here, they don't have any spikes on it. So the kids can grab them, take them off the hook, you know, their self. It's an awesome way for them, awesome way for them to learn. There you go. And you just throw him back. This one or this one? Anywhere, as long as there's water. Okay, see ya. <laughs> awesome. well, guys, this right here is the best looking spot so far. There's a, uh, the thing about these holes, is you want to find a place that's got a pretty good steady water flow through it because that's what's going to bring a, a steady food source into these pools. And these fish will stack up right where when that fast water flows through and if it's bringing food in right where that food would start to settle is where those fish are going to set up to ambush. So you can take your bait and pitch it right at the end right at the end of it or right off to the side of that kind of fast current. A lot of times that's where those fish are going to be setting. All right, guys. That right there. here is the biggest one of them yeah quit flopping now the biggest one of those suckers or whatever you want to call it that we I've caught all day so I'm gonna put him back guys we are running out of bread running out of time so we are going to go ahead and wrap this video up we had a fun day today how many did you catch today Landon 
seven or six? Seventy-six. That's a big. That's a big number. I would say it's closer to seven or six. Is what I'm thinking. Seven or six. Six or seven. But uh, guys, we had a we had a fun day down here at the creek. We're gonna keep fishing for a little while, but my batteries and all that stuff's going dead, and so we're gonna go ahead and wrap everything up. Let Landon catch a couple more, and then we're gonna call it a day. But listen, guys, I cannot thank y'all enough for watching Southern Extreme TV. It means the absolute world to me for you guys to come and uh, hang out with me for the day. As always, if you like what I'm doing here with Southern Extreme TV, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All of my videos it means it means everything to me, guys. It really does. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here in the top left corner. That right there lets me know that you guys enjoy watching what I'm doing and uh, it helps me out and helps support Southern Extreme TV as well. So, until next time, guys, I will be sure to bring you along on my next adventure. And uh, hey, who knows? Maybe Landon will be along for the next one too. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys.